Here's how much it costs to own a second-hand BMW. So I own an F10 2014 LCI 5 Series. It's a 520D. It's a two liter turbocharged diesel engine. So it's one of the more reliable engines from what I've heard. But today we are gonna break down the cost of ownership of this car. I'm gonna explain to you guys because a lot of people think it's gonna be very expensive and there's gonna be a lot of maintenance and all of that. So today we are gonna find out how much it has costed me to own this car over the past around 13 months. I got this car when it uh, only had 100,000 kilometers on the dash and right now it's sitting around 171, 72-ish. I have definitely daily driven the hell out of the car and put up a lot of kilometers you could say on it. So I got this car for around 47,000 US dollars uh, which I really didn't really get the best deal on the car but it is what it is. I'm living in Malaysia so that's around 191,000 ringgit when I got it. Uh, the car was originally priced at uh, from the factory around like 300, over 300,000 ringgit, which is around 80 to 90,000 US. I paid nine and a half down and I'm, I've been paying around 900 USD per month as monthly payments. So the total price would be 47k the next big thing would be the insurance and road tax which we would have to pay here uh, that's around 2500 dollars for i guess three years you could say then would be the tires of the car i'm using michelin pilot for pilot sports 4s's on the car which are on the pricier side of things, they are one of the best tires you could buy for this car, especially if you drive fast and because these tires perform amazing in the rain. I've changed them twice. I'm gonna need to change them soon again. That would be $2750, around 11,000 ringgit Malaysia. Then would be the oil changes, which I've done so far. I've done say nine or 10 oil changes roughly. Uh, that would turn out to around 1250 USD. The fuel cost on this car really amazed me. One of the, it's a two liter diesel and it's one of the more efficient cars that BMW is selling. But uh, I added up my average mileage and that I get per tank and the all 70,000 kilometers which I've had the car and the price came out to $42.50 for diesel only. So that kind of surprised me. It's uh, I think a lot of money to pay for just gas, right? Yeah, it is what it is. Brake pads, discs. I've had to change my front discs twice and my rear discs once. Or I'm not even sure how many times I've changed the brake pads. So I estimated it to be around uh, 1500 USD uh, or 6,000 ringgit. Uh, I've wrapped the car, which, which was $1,100 for the Avery wrap had a body kit installed. I had the M Sport body kit installed. If you haven't watched that video, please make sure to please make sure to click on the cards up here. The body kit was around 800 US. The, I changed to the M Sport steering wheel, which was around 1350 US with the paddles and installation and all of that, which is definitely worth it. It's one of the best things you you could do to if you have a non M Sport car it totally changes the feeling your uh, the steering wheel is what you're handling all the time is your only other than the pedals is your only connection you have with the car so it's definitely worth it to upgrade to the M Sports it totally changes the feel of the car 1350 US was the steering wheel and I painted the rims which is a small cost for 150 US or 600 ringgit so for the total cost of owning this car, I haven't had that many major issues. I've had, I had the pulley and belt incident once, which if you haven't watched that also, you can 
I will link it down below so you can go ahead and watch it. The pulley in my car went out and I, I was stranded on the side of the road on, uh, on my way to the track. If you haven't watched that video, you can go ahead and watch it. That was around one, like 250 US with the belt and everything. I've had issues, small issues like the water coming in and the car, they had to change a small piece underneath which was around 100 bucks us my total final estimated upwards came out to around 64,000 usd or 260,000 malaysian ringgits where i'm at the whole maintenance and body kit and petrol and fuel and everything together if you add it up and minus the cars cars cost so i've spent in total 17,000 us for modifying for fuel for road tax and insurance for all of that which is i think okay for for bmw and this long of an ownership so yeah if you were wondering how much it costs to own a used uh, bmw my car is gonna be seven years old now which is crazy to think about it i'm gonna need a new car soon so if you're thinking about getting a bmw f10 5 series this would be the estimate of what i've paid obviously i haven't factored in every single one because i don't remember but in total estimating it upwards i've spent this much it's something you want to do this is the video for you if you have any friends or family that are looking to purchase a new car and they're looking at bmw you they're looking at used bmws you can share the, this video to them let me know what you think down below should i stick with this car i still have some loan balance left do i pay it off sell the car and get a new one or do i keep this car and keep modifying it and keep doing crazy to it and bring out good content for you guys uh, let me definitely let me know down below if you haven't subscribed to the channel you can uh, go ahead and subscribe by clicking the link down below if you want more videos like this hit the like button down below and i will see you guys in the next one